Hello there, and welcome to this series of videos going through the content of A-level maths. Here we're looking at trigonometry in radians mode, so we can answer questions from exercise 5b. So, uh, at GCSE level, you should have remembered these trigonometric ratio values for 30, 45, and 60, and 0 and 90 as well can be included. Um, so what we, can, what we should be able to do now is be able to remember these trigonometric ratio values for the radians values, so pi by 6, pi by 4, pi by 3, and pi by 2. If, if not, just convert them from radians to degrees and you should be able to remember the radian value. Okay, You've got all sorts of different methods to be able to remember this. You've got just memorise, you've got the hand trick, there's a YouTube video on that somewhere on the internet. You've got the magic triangles as well, so lots of different methods for memorising those angles. Um, but what we're going to do here is we're going to have a look at how we find other trig values of things that are related to those three uh, ratios before, pi by 6, pi by 4, and pi by 3. So in this case here, we're looking to find the value of cos 4 pi by 3. Now you can use a cast diagram, that's uh, in the textbook. What I prefer to use is the graphs. So in this case here, if we want to find cos 4 pi by 3, uh, that's going to be above pi by a value of pi by 3. So just a bit above pi, we're going to have 4 pi by 3. Um, so if we go back, pi by 3, we're at pi, but if we go back another pi by 3, we're at 2 pi by 3. And then if we imagine the symmetry and the rotation of symmetry that is around pi by 2, this value here is going to be the exact negative value of cos pi by 3. So do a bit of rotation of symmetry on that, and you'll see that this is exactly the same uh, or the, the negative value of cos pi by 3. And we all remember that cos pi by 3 is cos 60, cos 60 is a half, so this here is just going to be minus a half. Okay, so using the graphs we can also find related um, trig values. Find the exact value of minus 7 pi by 6. So let's draw a big long graph here. 7 pi, minus 7 pi by 6 will be just uh, to the left of minus pi. Now if we can imagine we are a distance of pi by 6 away from pi, so therefore we should be a distance of pi by 6 up from the uh, x-axis intersection point at 0. <coughs> So we can go back and we're at pi by 6. So in this case here, the answer to this question here is the same value as pi by 6. So sine of minus 7 pi by 6 is the same as sine pi by 6, which is a half. All right, then your turn to have a go at these two questions here then. Find the exact trigonometric ratio values. Try not to use your calculator. All right, then let's go through the first one of these then. So 7 pi by 3. So if I was to draw a big, long sine graph, um, 7 pi by 3, um, well, we have 2 pi here. That's 6 pi by 3. So 7 pi by 3 will just be pi by 3 radians on from 2 pi. So therefore, if we go back 2 pi radians, so if we do 7 pi by 3 minus 2 pi, remember that the sine graph repeats itself every 2 pi radians, we get the same value, this will be pi by 3. So in this case here, the value of sine 7 pi by 3 is just the same as sine pi by 3, which is 60 degrees, but we're working in a radians chapter, so this is going to be um, root 3 over 2, sorry. Okay. Next question then, a bit of a longer cos graph now, so we need to go all the way up to minus, <coughs> <coughs> minus 7 pi by 6, so this point here is going to be pi minus pi, so it's going to be slightly on from there, so it's going to be minus 7 pi by 6. So 
So, uh, one way that we can do this is we can imagine the rotational symmetry around this point here. If we imagine we rotate the graph around this point here, then we're going to end up at a point up here. And that's going to be pi by 6 radians from the peak. So therefore, the answer to cos of minus 7 pi by 6 is going to be the negative of cos pi by 6. <clears throat> cos pi by 6 is cos of 30 degrees, so that would be minus root 3 over 2. Okay, so there we are. Those are the answers to these questions here. Make sure you check these answers on your calculator, but have a go at a few of them before moving on to the next part. Thanks very much for watching.